In this lesson, we will cover rename columns. So we'll do create rename columns. We'll first insert a button. On click, we will put our same code, which is initialize the company sales with this table. So if you see, we have a column city, cost, and sales, and we will rename the column. We we'll first insert the gallery. Sales. Okay. Now we put here cost. Now we put another button for the uh, rename column. Select. We put clear collect. Company sales. Rename column. And then we use the function rename column. Sales. This is our original uh, collection. Cost. We replace cost with the word expense. So we have renamed cost to expense. Close this. Close this. Close this. We then initialize the rename the column, and then we insert the gallery. remember we change it to company premium column and then if we come here we try to look for the cost it's not there it's rename to expense okay so first we have done the initialize button Initialize button. We set our on this select. We initialize our collection. On this list, we set the uh, value. Here we have access to cost. Then when we do rename column, we have changed here collect the result collection. The original collection operating the function rename columns, changing the, the column cost to expense. So when we come here, we have expense, we no longer have cost. This is useful when you're getting the information from the database or list where the uh, column of the list is very weird and in our collection we want it to have a proper name uh, sometimes in SharePoint you have uh, uh, column 
terms of this type, you know. Makes, you know, close me. It's twenty and then name. So for this things of this type, you can rename it to first name using this technique. So for renaming columns from the data source, which is not uh, from Power Apps itself, but it's coming from an external source, in that case, you can rename those columns to suit your needs in the Power App. So uh, while uh, setting the uh, uh, gallery, you can gallery uh, control uh, values you can use uh, the proper names so that's it about rename columns it's quite useful when you are bringing the uh, data from the external data source with column names not uh, suiting your needs or not uh, very friendly names um, sometimes you know people in the database they store it uh, uh, like uh, fst and a and e so, you know, when information is stored like this, you can change in the column and put it like this. That's it about green and columns.